Hey folks, Saksham this side from Ace IPM. I am indoors. IPM 2024 forms are now out. In this video, we are going to have a look at the notification as well as fill up the form. So without any further ado, let's begin. So if you come on I am in those website, head over to IPM section. Over here, you'll find the admission procedure. So let's just have a look at it and look at all the important pointers. First of all, you need to be born on or after August 1, 2004 to be eligible for it. And if in case you are coming from SC, ST or PWD category, you have a five-year age relaxation over there. Uh, you need to have cleared your class 12th in the year 2022, 2023, or you should be appearing for it in the year 2024. All the best for your board examinations, by the way. Uh, in terms of your, uh, you know, aggregate percentage that you're going to enter for your 10th as well as 12th if in case you are, you know, a dropper, what you need to be aware of is the fact that the percentage of marks obtained by the candidate in 10th and 12th standard would be calculated based on the aggregate marks of all subjects that appear in the mark sheet irrespective of board's regulation. Now, this is something which, uh, you know, a lot of people... Uh, make mistake in because in IM Indoor, uh, in IM Rohtak, it was best of five regardless of board's uh, regulation. In the case of IM Indoor, it is best of overall, right? Regardless of board's regulation. You might say in ICSE, you know, we only consider best of four. In uh, CBSE, we might only consider best of five. But no, when you're filling IM Indoor's form, you need to consider a best of, you know, uh, all the subjects that appear in your mark sheet. So for example, in this particular mark sheet, you can see that Hindi, English, Math, Science, Social Science, Foundation of IT. You have six subjects over here. So even though the grade point over here that I have is 9.6, which is based on the top five subjects, when I am entering my aggregate percentage in my, uh, you know, uh, in my form, I will also include Foundation of IT. What I will not include is these additional, you know, uh, life skill subjects like thinking skills, social skills, emotional skills, we won't consider these. We'll only consider the subjects where we have given an examination. So these six subjects will be considered. Uh, in this case, uh, you know, the grade points are given. So we'll have to convert it into percentage uh, based on the respective boards uh, per conversion, uh, you know, chart. So in the case of CBSE, it used to be multiplied by 9.5. So we'll follow it over there. But for most of you guys, since you are uh, from a batch later than ours, uh, you guys already have a percentage system. So you don't have to do the conversion, but for people coming from different boards, you will have to make the conversion, uh, you know, accordingly. But yes, if there are six subjects that you've given an examination of, consider all those six whilst calculating your uh, overall percentage, all right? So that is a very important thing that you should make a note of. Uh, another thing, your form is open till uh, Tuesday, March 26. Please, you know, fill it uh, earlier than that because if there's a payment issue, ho jata hai, then you guys, uh, you know, run around, ki, Are payment hua, what, to, what to do now, time nahi bacha hai. So at least, you don't have any allotted, you know, preferred center. Mil jai. Uske liye thoda jaldi form ka try karna. But it's not that it's not that it's not that it's not that it's Take your time, take, you know, three, four, five days, fill all the details, get it verified from, you know, your friends, your family, and only then you should fill the form. The fee for the form is 4130 for general uh, category students and there's a relaxation as well as EWS and NCOBC but there's a 50% relaxation for SCST and PWD category candidates. Now in terms of the selection procedure if we move around uh, your AT will be conducted on May 23rd from the 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. afternoon shift this was something which was you know already announced by IAM Indoor much earlier. Each question will carry four marks. There will be a negative of minus one. There are going to be three sections, each of 40 minutes. It is a sectional time-bound test. So, you know, you have 40 minutes for each of the three sections. Uh, the table does not indicate the final order of sections. Usually in the past four years, what you have seen is the first section is QA essay, followed by QA MCQ, followed by BA MCQ. There's no negative marking for QA essay where you have to type in the answer. But for the other two sections, there is a negative marking, including the parajambles of the VA section, even though there also you have to type in the answer. So that's going to be there. Now, in order to qualify for the interview, you need to score the minimum marks in each of the sections. There's a sectional uh, cutoff, unlike uh, IM Rotak or JIP Mat. So that's going to be there. Then, uh, you know, your uh, marks are not going to be taken as a, you know, raw score. They are then converted into ATS, which is aptitude test score. If you want to know more about it, I've already made a video on the channel. You can have a look at it. Uh, I won't spend much time over here. Now, in terms of personal interview, it says that it may be con uh, conducted in an online or offline mode. Post COVID, it has always been on online mode. But in the form, you will see that they have asked for your interview uh, city preference. So I'm assuming that it is going, you know, they're at least planning to conduct it offline but you know we'll have to see it could be online it could be offline you'll have to be prepared you know both ways anyway it doesn't matter as of now in terms of your uh, you know weightage for admission 65 percent is given to your aptitude test score your examination ipmat uh, indoor 
and 35% goes to your personal interview. There is no weightage as such for your past academics, be it your class 10th marks, be it your class 12th marks. But in a way, you know, in that 35% interview component, your uh, past academics has, you know, some uh, level of, uh, you know, impact on how your interview goes, right? So that is the only impact that is there. Otherwise, there's no uh, weight is specifically given to your 10th and 12th. So even if you have scored not much in your 10th and 12th, you don't need to worry about it. Just make sure you are checking all the boxes uh, in terms of your AT as well as your interview. So that's going to be there. Other than that, you know, not uh, a lot of information available over here. Uh, one thing that you should know is that uh, the sanction intake for your uh, IPM 2024 batch is 150. Your caste certificates need to be from the central list and not the state list. So please keep a note of that for people from NC, OBC and uh, EWS background, please the renew your certificates post 31st March. Uh, so, you know, please do that at the time of interview, they'll ask you for your updated certificates. So, you know, that's all that is there in terms of the notification. There's nothing more, uh, you know, which is something that I should be highlighting to you guys, but you guys also, you know, can just look at it yourself before filling the form. But now let's come to the form. If you go to the website, you have this option, online registration to get user ID and password. It'll open up this page and you will have to fill in your details. Make sure that you are filling in correct details as per your class 10 mark sheet. You will not be able to change a lot of these details later on, even in the correction window. So candidate must provide correct name, date of birth, mobile number, email address, as these details cannot be changed later once the registration is complete. And please fill them basis of your class 10 mark sheet. So your name comes here, your gender, Category, again, if in case you're selecting any category, you need to have a valid certificate. Your caste should come in the uh, center list of uh, reservation and not just the state list. And in the case of NCOBC and EWS, please renew your certificate post 31st of March. So that's going to be there. Date of birth, uh, you cannot apply if you are born any time before 1st August 2004. Uh, but if in case you come from a, you know, SEST, PWD category, then you have a five-year relaxation over there. Fill in the email address and the mobile number which are active, which you check daily so that any update that comes, you're able to get that and you're able to read that. Once you've filled everything, you'll have an option over here to re-verify. After that, all the details will be displayed here. Verify it, check the boxes and click on submit. And then it will uh, create a login ID and password and it will mail it to you as well as SMS it to you. Uh, then this page will open up. You'll have to fill in all the other details like your father's name. Again, as per your, uh, you know, 10th mark sheet. Your mother's name, it's an optional field, but you can fill in, you know, if in case you have the data and, you know, other details over here, your house number, uh, correspondence address details, you will just enter it over here. Alternate number and email, you can, uh, you know, put in uh, your parents' email and mobile number over here. Then it'll ask you for your uh, image as well as your photograph as well as your signature. Now, one thing is your, uh, your photograph should not be more than six months older. It should be in the plain white background, should not be exceeding 80 KBs in size. Now, in that case, you can just go on Short Pixel or any other website to resize your uh, and compress your images and uh, PDFs, which you know you might require for other documents as well. So you need to upload your image over here as well as your signature over here. After you're done doing that, you can see the photo and other things over here. I am currently logged out, which is why it is not showing for me. But for you guys, it should show the image and signature that you have uploaded. In terms of valid ID proof, uh, uh, you have to upload something which you have a physical copy of the original of and that's something that you can take to your examination center as well for most of the people Aadhaar should do the job so you can just upload your Aadhaar card over here right and then if in case you have selected any category it will ask you for a certificate as well and these certificates again in a PDF format you can compress it if in case you are exceeding the size limit and make sure that your cast comes in the center list and not just the state list they have given the uh, you know uh, sample photograph over here so you can check that Plus, in terms of certificates, they have given a format on their own website. But even if it is not the same format, but uh, it is coming from a relevant competent authority, I don't think it should be a problem. So even though you have certificate formats over here, I don't think it matters as much as long as your cast is in the center list. Your certificate is center, you know, center certificate and not just a state certificate and it is renewed, uh, which gets renewed every 31st March in the case of uh, NCOBC and EWS, right? So that is going to be there. After you're done uploading all these details, you click on save and next. So after clicking save and next, it will ask you for class 10th and 12th details. Please make sure you are considering all the subjects as mentioned earlier, uh, whilst calculating your aggregate marks in percentage for 10th as well as 12th if you have already given your 12th examinations. So in that case, you need to consider even if you have given exams of six subjects, be it an additional subject, whatever subject you call it, you consider all subjects consider karke, abna aggregate percentage jo hai, wo hai. so that is how it will work so for me if 
uh, the aggregate of if I have given exam for seven subjects and the aggregate of it is 93.1 then I will enter 93.1 versus my best of five which would be let's say 96 I will consider all the subjects whilst calculating my 10th as well as 12th percentage then uh, again relevant details over here your 10th class mark sheet over here as I mentioned earlier if in this uh, mark sheet there are six subjects now, even though foundation of IT is an additional subject, whilst calculating my aggregate, I'll consider all of it. If in case you have been given marks in grade points, then you have a board kya a conversion method or you multiply by 10 or multiply by 9.5. Whatever you have to do relevant conversion method, you have to put it You have to put it in the document. So you'll enter all of it over here. In 12th, if in case you are currently appearing for your 12th examinations, you will put it here and put it in the और बाकी डिटेल्स डालेंगे अगर आपने ऑलरेडी 12 दे दिया है तो आप यहां यस डालेंगे एंड उसके बाद आपको फिर से यू नो ये सेम डिटेल्स डालनी पड़ेंगी एंड देन यू विल क्लिक सेव एंड नेक्स्ट उसके बाद आपसे पूछेगा आपकी प्रेफर्ड सिटीज फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशंस आप अपनी कोई भी पांच प्रेफर्ड सिटी डाल सकते हैं जितना जल्दी फॉर्म भरेंगे उतना चांसेस है कि आपको प्रेफर्ड सिटी 1 मिल जाए अदरवाइज प्रेफर्ड सिटी 2 3 से आगे जाता नहीं है आइडियली बट फिर भी इफ दे हैव आस्क फॉर फाइव यू नो सिटीज देन चूज देम अकॉर्डिंगली इन टर्म्स ऑफ पर्सनल इंटरव्यू सिटी प्रेफरेंस अगेन uh, as I mentioned earlier, even though the, uh, you know, notification says the interview could be held online as well as offline, in the interview they've asked for city preference, so most probably it is going to be offline. So you need to fill two city preferences over here as well. Then again, save and next. उसके बाद आपसे बोलेगा कि आप यहां से प्रीव्यू करें सारी डिटेल को एक बार फिर से चेक कर लीजिएगा अपने मम्मी पापा को दिखा दीजिएगा जस्ट वंस यू हैव चेकड एवरी सिंगल पीस ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन यू नो इट इज 100% करेक्ट आपने सही डॉक्यूमेंट सही जगह डाला है ऐसा नहीं है कि फोटो की जगह साइन डाल दिया है साइन की जगह फोटो डाल दिया है दोनों को साथ में डाल दिया है ऐसे नहीं करना है जब वो सारी डिटेल आप चेक कर लो तो आपने आई एग्री पे क्लिक करना है कैप्चा डालना है सबमिट पे क्लिक करना है पेमेंट करना है पेमेंट करने के बाद आपको कंफर्मेशन आ जाना चाहिए तुरंत अगर नहीं आता है प्लीज वेट फॉर सम टाइम अ डे और टू अगर उसके बाद भी नहीं आता है मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली आपको रिफंड आ जाएगा आप आई एम इंदौर के हेल्प डेस्क को मेल कर सकते हैं यहां पर आपको डिटेल्स मिल जाएगा राइट यू हैव द मेल एड्रेस एज वेल एज टेलीफोन नंबर सो यू कैन जस्ट रीच आउट टू देम फॉर दैट मोस्ट प्रॉब्ली इट विल बी रिफंडेड एंड देन यू कैन मेक द पेमेंट अगेन ट्राई अ डिफरेंट पेमेंट मेथड सो दैट फिर से वो फेल ना हो जाए that's about it if in case you have any questions and if in case you even want to give mocks for IPM Indoor uh, you can uh, go in the description and purchase our mock test series which is already included if in case you are a part of our full course but you can also purchase it separately but if in case you have any other query you can leave it down in the comment section that's about it thank you so much for tuning in I hope you have a lovely day all the best for your exams and bye bye